there's a concept with respect to helping homeless people called Housing First. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. We need to invest in it because those investments pay dividends. And so the, the whole uh, premise of Housing First is you get people into stable housing and then you get them to work with social workers and case managers uh, and employment trainers. All of that comes to them after you stabilize their housing uh, and stabilize their uh, food insecurity. Once that happens, you can figure out how to better serve people. But I I'll tell you, doing housing first is a lot cheaper than using law enforcement and prisons to take care of homeless people particularly those with mental health problems. It's not something that police are often trained to deal with, uh, and it's much, much more expensive. It's 35, 37,000 a year to lock someone up in prison. We can do housing first for less than half of that and give people good productive lives with the help of some case management support. First, we got to uh, uh, capitalize even more our affordable housing uh, fund in the state budget, making sure that we have uh, existing mill buildings and other opportunities to expand to workforce affordable housing, make sure that we leverage those federal and private dollars to do workforce and affordable housing. That's number one. We did that in the budget, uh, but we need to build off of it. Number two is we need to make sure that our housing and homelessness programs are fully funded, including the rapid rehousing program. And the housing first model we know works, Adam. And as a former legal aid attorney working in housing matters, including leading the housing justice project of New Hampshire legal assistance for four years, working to combat uh, housing discrimination, working and advancing affordable housing, I know how important this is. And we have a housing crisis in the state. We have a homelessness crisis in the state. And it's only getting worse right now because Governor Christianu is not getting money out the door to help people and has vetoed modest housing protections for renters and homeowners.